Hello everyone, uh, I'm Chef Almir da Fonseca. I'm a chef instructor at the Culinary Institute of America, Greystone Campus. And today we're going to do a very simple recipe, but very user friendly, and which is going to be a grilled vegetable. So it's going to be a Mediterranean feel to it, going to have a Nisoise aioli, which is a fresh garlic mayonnaise that we're going to make using, utilizing canola oil, but we're going to add a little twist on that. We're going to fold it in some Greek yogurt. Okay, so I started over here and I did prep my marination and then here is a very simple. I have some canola oil, I have garlic, I have lemon juice, fresh rosemary and fresh thyme. And I'm going to season with a little bit salt and black pepper. Okay, and I'm going to rest my vegetables in the marination just to get some flavorings for presentation, okay? And this is very simple, you don't need to marinate for too long, it can be 15 to 30 minutes, I think would be appropriate. Right here on this, my stove I have a pot with a baby red potatoes that I just parboiling, that way you will grill at the same time. So we'll facilitate the cookery a little bit. And while my vegetables are marinating, I will be making our aioli. There's several points about canola oil that I'd like to mention to you as far as the cookery and different culinary applications, canola oil being not only one of the healthiest oil in the market, which is trans fat free and cholesterol free, and, and, but is very, very neutral in flavor. So whatever flavors that I add over here, that's the flavors that are gonna be tasting it. You're gonna get the garlic, gonna get the rosemary, rather than if I use any really heavier oil, pungent oil, like peanut oil, for example, any other oils, so we'll get those flavors, and using canola just facilitate that. So as you see, just marinate over here. Another thing that I want you to keep in mind for you guys that enjoy grilling out, out there, when you're going to grill any marinade, marinated product, Make sure you wipe the marination up a little bit because otherwise the oil will produce flame ups. And a lot of the flaming from the grill turns to get a little bit bitter. Sometimes you want that charcoal, but charcoal and burn is two different things. So you don't want that kind of bitter taste on that. So let me start my oli right here. I'm going to use pasteurized egg yolks. Safety purposes works very well. It's also economic in the sense that I can save me time or one of my cooks time rather than separating the eggs. I can just kind of purchase a way to pasteurize egg yolk. So I'm gonna start that very, very simply. I'm gonna have uh, about four yolks over here to start, okay? And garlic. As I mentioned before, aioli is a garlic mayonnaise. So this fresh garlic that I just simply minced. I'm gonna use some shallots as well, which is one of my favorite you know, roots from the lily family or the onion family. It's nice and sweet and have a good amount of acid, so it will nice and balanced flavor over there. I'm gonna use mustard, which is gonna add a little bit of that flavor that you would expect from a vinegar when you're making a mayonnaise, and I think it would be a great flavoring agent over there, okay? I'm going to use capers. I just smashed the capers up a little bit just to make sure I didn't have the brine. Capers comes, is a little tree, it's a caper berry, and then it's a brine, so I want to squeeze that brine out so I don't get that saltness out because I'm utilizing you know, anchovy paste and this was all of them, they both contain enough, enough salt. Keep in mind, this recipe, you're gonna have to taste it before you season because the ingredients that you're utilizing. Here's anchovy, fresh anchovy that I just simply, you know, make into a paste. So I'm gonna use just a little bit and just a little bit goes a long way on this recipe, okay? And then of course, the beautiful Nisois olive. Nisois gonna be outstanding on this. You're gonna notice that this mayonnaise will not be yellow, gonna have a nice little kind of purplish color, gonna have that little olive feel too, gonna have a nice sheen because once I mount the, the canola oil, you're gonna get a nice little silky, silky shine too, okay? So I think I am ready. I'm gonna keep my fresh lemon juice to the, to the end for seasoning and I'm gonna utilize a little bit of black pepper and very, very carefully, I'm gonna also utilize some of my salt, okay? So 
So I'm going to process everything, going to make sure everything is nice and cohesive and all the ingredients are breaking together nicely. Okay. I'm going to collect a spatula over here so I can clean the sides of the bowl and make sure that all the ingredients are coming down. Now is a good time to clean up the bowl a little bit. And you already notice from the side of the bowl and the color is getting a little bit of the olive color already and the caper color already, okay? I think it's about time to start pouring my canola. Keep in mind, when you make mayonnaise or you're making hollandaise or any sauce that you're going to add, you know, oil or, or melted clarified butter to it, you gotta pour very, very carefully, like making a vinaigrette, otherwise have a chance that we will break, okay? Take a look. It's great, great consistency. Nice and shiny, but light. It's not really a heavy mayonnaise. I can smell the olives and the anchovies, and you know, looks really good. I'm gonna add another two, two to three tablespoons of, of canola oil, and then I should be okay to go with my yogurt, all right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my yogurt and I'm gonna gently spoon the yogurt into my Robocoo. Keep in mind, I don't want my, the brine of the yogurt, I just want the yogurt itself, okay? A little bit of lemon juice. Black pepper. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. That's gonna be a great flavor. Gonna allow it to rest a little bit. Some of the flavors are gonna continue to grow. And then once I'm done grilling my vegetables, we'll be ready to put that plate together. Taste. Actually, could use a little bit of salt. The yogurt cut down a little bit into the saltness of the olives and the anchovy, so allow me to season a touch. Perfect. Couple things that I like to mention. I see that a lot. It happens a lot with our students. It happens a lot with chefs out in the field as well. You know, mayonnaise is is a oil-based sauce that is emulsified. It doesn't mean that need to be really hard. This doesn't mean that we should spoon the mayonnaise on the plate and should stay. It can be a little bit sauce. In this case, because we add the yogurt and add all the flavorings, we make it into a sauce. So that's going to be a great accompaniment for your grilled vegetable. This is a really beautiful sauce over here. Okay. And again, as I mentioned earlier, make sure you drain your excess oil so it doesn't, you know, create a lot of flame ups, okay? You know, a lot of the natural oils for the herbs also has already penetrated the vegetables. So it's, even that you actually kind of washing some of those herbs and some of those garlics out, you're still going to get a lot of flavor on, that, on those vegetables. Okay, so 
I have the beautiful array of fresh vegetables from our garden. I have a potatoes that are gonna come out of the water right about now. And again, the only thing I'm gonna do over here, I'm going to slice it and I'm going to toss into the marination a little bit. The marination being cool, you're going to stop the potatoes from continuing to cook, which is a good thing. And then I'm gonna be able to grill, okay? Okay, I have my marinated potatoes over here. And Now I'm going to the grill, I'm gonna grill these vegetables to perfection and when I come back, we'll plate this dish. Okay, so I finished grilling my vegetables. That is, you know, great texture, not totally completely cooked, so we have a few little bites to it. The beautiful, great color, great char on it. And I'm gonna plate this, this dish using our aioli, okay? Again, keep in mind, we you utilize canola oil in our marination that had canola oil, garlic, lemon juice, thyme, and rosemary. We also utilize canola oil to season the grill. As I mentioned to you before, canola oil is very stable, okay? And it handles high heat, so it's perfect to season the grill. The grill is very, very hot, and to season with the canola oil is just, just a great idea. It just definitely works, okay? So I'm gonna present over here, and what I, what I tell for my, my students when it comes to presentation is about height. You want a little bit of visual texture and a little bit of a mouth texture. I'm gonna put it the harder, vegetables in the bottom and the softer on the top and I'm gonna to try to kind of create a little bit of a fill. I don't want all the vegetables pointing at the same direction. I want to give a little bit of a visual texture over there, okay? I'm gonna have my onions in the center, and I'm gonna utilize my onions in two ways. One, as a vessel, so we handle my aioli, a presentation. I'm also gonna do two things with this, this aioli. I have some microgreens over here, and the only thing I'm gonna do with these microgreens, I'm going to drizzle a little bit that same marination. This is gonna be a garnish, and garnish must be edible, therefore it needs to be dressed. You can't put greens on the plate as a garnish unless it's dressed. So this is gonna give a nice little kind of fresh mouth feel, and I'm gonna put right over here, okay? And then I'm just going to drizzle you know, a little bit more aioli randomly over the vegetables. Okay, and that is our grilled vegetables with our new Swiss aioli. Enjoy.